This is my dad's old NASCAR Ford C3 engine. The last time we had it on the dyno, it had picked up 300 horsepower from when we freshened it up. If you remember, that engine had overheated 20 years ago, and we never knew really why it overheated, but we knew it was way down on power after being overheated. We could never figure it out. But the last time we had it in the dyno, when it made all that power and was running great, we actually took an oil sample and that used oil sample revealed the source of the problem. Even though the engine was running great, it actually had water in the used oil sample. So we were able to go back and find the source of the leak that was still in the engine that had gone undetected. If we had just gone to the back of the racetrack, we would have had the exact same problem again. Fortunately, the used oil analysis showed us where the problem was. We were able to find the problem, fix the problem. Now it's back on the dyno and we're gonna show you how much power it makes now with all the problems fixed. So we've rebaselined the engine with the old carb, the standard NASCAR fuel, and the thing's making about 765 horsepower. So it's up about 15 horsepower from where it was previously. The other thing is with the new oil pump, actually it's the old oil pump, but the guys at line to line coated all the gear sections and all this. So now we've gone from about six inches of vacuum to 14 inches of vacuum. So we picked up some vacuum, the baseline's there. So now what we're gonna do is we put on my buddy Trevor Wiggins, get him performance. We got his twin blade carburetors. We've gone from a regular four barrel carburetor to a twin blade carburetor. So really we've gone from about 830 CFM to a thousand CFM. So we're gonna run that same carburetor, this thousand CFM carburetor with the Q16 fuel. So last time we peaked out about 777 horsepower with the four barrel, with the Q16. So let's put this twin blade on there, put in some Q16 and find out what she's got. All right, so this is how they get qualifying, right? Yep, qualifying run. Cold oil, or hot, cold hot, water, yeah. hot oil, a couple yep. degrees of timing, right? Yep, here we go. Yeah. 758 to right same point 91. 791. Yeah. All right. That's wow. big. Now here's the torque. This is what your dad's gonna Ooh. feel right oh, there. Oh, yeah, he'll like that. All right. So 562, and then originally it was 45. 45. 17 foot pounds. Yes. Yeah, that'll wake him up. Yeah, that'll wake him up. Yeah. So here's the final tally of the saga with dad's old Ford C3 engine. 791 horsepower is what we're gonna give him to go back to the racetrack with. That's 100 more than he had way back in the day 20 years ago. It's over 300 more than he probably had the last time he ran it. And most importantly, we found the problem of why it overheated in the first place. The used oil analysis saved the day from that happening again. And now with all the changes, right? But remember, same block, same heads, same manifold, same crank, same rods, uh, same oil pump as before, but we, the guys from line to line, coated the pump. So we went from six inches of vacuum. Now we're at 14 inches of vacuum. Thanks to the guys that driven, we go from old 2050 oil now to 5W20 oil. We're going from the old school fuel to the new VP Q16, more powerful oxygenated fuel. Man, I can't thank Billy Godbold, all the guys at Comp Cams, Edelbrock, John Callies at Morrell, enough all new valve train. Dennis and the guys here at Promotor did a great job of, you know, 
porting and polishing the manifold and the heads and getting them tuned up. But man, the guys at the CP, new pistons, Keith, all my other buddies at Total Seal, right? We went from that old 043 top ring, you know, duck to Molly, 1.5 second ring, two, three millimeter oil ring to a 0 0.7, 0 0.7, two millimeter gas ported ring set. We picked this engine up over a hundred horsepower with all those internal changes. We're making 791 horsepower. So he's got some ponies to put under the hood to go back to the racetrack. So let's get this thing and put it in the car. <laughs> 